excuse me? Hmm? You again? I would really love to join you. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? What was that you wanted me to do to prove I'm reckless enough? Shave Donna's... cat? No, no, no. I told you not to shave Donna's cat. That'd be extremely dangerous and stupid. Ha <laughs> ha! Danger is my middle name. And stupid is my, uh... Um, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. Do you also like to play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Unfortunately, I left my tournament fingers in the hideout today. I'll get back to you. Whatever. That must be one of those genuine tournament hands for professional rock, paper, scissors. I have got to get on board that submersible. Hey, you! Why are you sneaking around here? Do you mean me? Of course I mean you. Or do you have an invisible buddy with you? Ha! Huh. If I had a buddy with me, he wouldn't be half as invisible as I am. Because I move as inconspicuously as a ninja. Hey! Ah, no way. The way you stomp around, I would notice you even if you were hidden, using the golden dragon of invisibility from Gilligan's gadget shop. Ha! Ah, a real ninja doesn't need gadgets. I can dissolve into thin air with my secret stealth powers any time. Then please do that. I don't want to see you around here again. Understand? Somebody should tell them that polka dots are totally out. You who? What? Where? So, what do you sell here? What does it look like? Well, no, seriously, what does it look like? I'm blind, you know. I see mostly mind-altering substances, illegal drugs, and questionable medications. Oh, good, that's all right then. This is my drugstore, apparently. How may I help you? I'm new here. Are there any sights you would recommend? Very funny. I'm blind, just in case you hadn't noticed. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me! You're blind? How come? Let's put it like this. I should have read the directions for use while I still could. Hmm. From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Oh, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. Have you been to Bellevue recently? Very funny. Mm, I'd noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. Wait a minute. What is that? Uh, uh. Hmm. What's up with that arena? Uh, I've been wondering about that myself. All I know is that it's a cauldron-shaped pit in the center of the marketplace. Some kind of sporting competition is held there. Involving platypuses, I think. And water. Water? Yes. Luckily, they've now built a railing around the arena. 
Boo boo boo. Peekaboo. Get lost. I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? I would like a plus five healing potion. Sorry, all sold out. But I have some antidotes on sale. Nah, never mind. I'll save my money then. What's in that bottle back there? Undiluted ethanol with antifreeze? Tastes all right, really. I used to drink that a lot until I was eventually no longer able to find the bottle. Have you got any sedatives? Yes, but you need a prescription. I've got a prescription right here. That's not a prescription. That's a button you tore from your coat. Are you quite sure about that? Listen, I may be blind, but I'm not dumb. Well, maybe you should get a second opinion. Are you giving away anything for free? Not really. The only thing I could offer you is a sample of this new plant. It contains various mind-altering substances that have never been tested on humans. Incredibly dangerous. Absolutely illegal. And the possible side effects are both unpredictable and unspeakable. But it's free. Yes, but... In that case, can I have it? Not so fast. You can only have the Cucumis Agneto in exchange for a free coupon. Cucu... what? Cucumis Agneto. The cucumber of revelation. The active ingredient is in its juice. Unfortunately, the shell is very hard. Hard shell? Dangerous content? Unpredictable side effects? Oh, ho just like me! Won't you let me have a free cucumber? Only for a coupon. Ah, oh, great. And where would I get one of these coupons? From the free pharmacy magazine, of course. But I don't see a free pharmacy magazine here. Neither do I. But do you hear me complaining? It's prominently displayed here somewhere. No, it's not. When I took my break earlier, one copy was definitely still there. I tested a new laxative, and suddenly everything had to go very fast. And you took the magazine to the bathroom with you? What for? To read the cartoons? Ever heard of Braille? Also, Gulliver's Tavern is always out of toilet paper. Ugh. Ah, nothing I need right now. You get what you deserve. See you later. Not if I see you first. Strange toilet paper covered with little bumps. No wonder that, well, actually, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh. <laughs> Is this a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille. Although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment. Cucumis Agneto, the cucumber of revelation. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. Hmm. The red pipe leads toward Little Venice. The green into the heart of the industrial park. And the yellow into that dark alley. I have to admit that this customer service bot isn't bad at its job. Nevertheless, I wonder where the owner of the shop is.
Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shapomat 2000. How may I help you? What kind of things do you sell here? At Gilligan's Gadget Garden, we offer the most amazing equipment in all of Deponia. Go ahead and browse at your leisure. You are welcome to try out a few gadgets. But please remember to put back the merchandise before you leave the shop. But of course, what do you take me for? My CPU has calculated an 86% probability of an imminent attempt at shoplifting. What? Now, now that's outrageous. Based on what? Based on several factors. The way you are dressed, for example. Are you a robot? The gadgeteer constructed me so I could help him run the shop. Smart move. Where is he now? This information is irrelevant. I am completely autonomous. I see. I wonder what became of the gadgeteer. We have no idea. We have been looking for him for months. We? Yes, we are very worried about him, his wife and I. So the gadgeteer is married? Yes. Camilla is a wonderful lady. I am with her every day, lending her support. These must be hard times for her. She should not grieve for a husband who left her in the lurch. She should just look ahead. People are so unreliable, aren't they? That is what I have been telling Camilla for months. By now she thinks I am right. Robots are so much more reliable, she says. Why is the pedestal over there empty? It is not empty. What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility, the most powerful gadget on Deponia. Golden dragon of invisibility? It may be hard to believe, but it is really there. A beautiful object, lavishly ornamented. And its powers are beyond imagination. But touching it is absolutely prohibited. I think I can only just hold myself back. Very much appreciated. I'll just be on my way then. Please come again soon. An excellent choice, sir. Please do not forget to return the merchandise to its proper place before leaving the store. I am very sorry, sir, but the floor models must not be removed from the store area under any circumstances. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahem. <clears throat> all right, all right. There it is. The golden dragon of invisibility. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. At least, I assume so. It's about time somebody invented that. Goal and I definitely need something like this for our villa in Elysium. We could put it in our bedroom, for example. Yeah, then I could shred in bed. The top prize is some fully functional torpedo equipment. Oh boy, just what I've always wanted. A juicer hat. I bet I look extra cool with this. Like a man of the world. Goal is bound to be impressed. Anti-gravity socks. They have everything here. The sunglasses of eternal darkness. Looks like normal sunglasses, just that the lenses are covered in black paint. Cool. I have to admit that this customer service bot isn't bad at its job. Nevertheless, I wonder where the owner of the shop is.
Here goes nothing. <laughs> Goal is bound to be impressed. O oh, cucumber of revelation, reveal your wisdom to me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. <laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then... Um... Whatever. Something really clever. The sunglasses of eternal darkness. Looks like normal sunglasses, just that the lenses are covered in black paint. Cool. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? I cannot detect any defect. The merchandise appears to be in perfect condition. Tch. I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that, because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. I knew I could break them. People just shouldn't challenge me. Oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello. Hello. Gah, that thing sure has some nerve. Uh -huh. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. Hehe, <laughs> super. Dang it. Now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. <laughs> it works. 
I'm invisible! <laughs> woo! Woo 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 woo! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I sure fooled him. Huh? Where did my golden dragon of invisibility go? I must have lost it somewhere. Not a bad idea, but I'd have to put it back together first. <laughs> huh. Let's see how well he can see me now. Well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort, probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. Wait a minute, nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this, but that's... Hello, Wink, please come in. Uh-oh, there's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiance. Well, ex-fiance, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus. Wink, is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide and... Here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes? Uh-huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. Well, that should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? Where are you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Why, I wonder. <laughs> <clears throat> because of the handover later? My answer would have been more plausible, but yes, exactly. I'm in an Organon blast tower, directly on the cruiser route to Porta Fisco. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. But let me know in advance when you're going to show up here, or the Organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? Why do you need those ascension codes again? But I already told you! Yes, but your pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Ugh. I'll explain it to you just one more time. Ugh. The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Port of Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the ascension codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. 
You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. <laughs> right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risk. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <coughs> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead, too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, just, just a moment. I... Uh, 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 oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charms. <laughs> it can't be so hard then. <laughs> If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. An excellent choice, sir. Ha! Huh. Indestructible? No way. It's broken. And I'm sure you don't have to pay for samples that break when you try them on. Or, uh, or what? Will you be paying by cash or organ donation? Oh, I see. They aren't broken after all. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, a clue would be just a ticket. 